Hey, welcome back to RC101 with the Taoist Flyer. We've got the DHD D1 drone right here. This is a little pocket drone that was sent to us from geekbuying.com. There's a link in the description if you want to pick one up today. This is actually officially the world's smallest RC aircraft. Go ahead and compare it to the former smallest RC aircraft there, the Cherson CX-10. You can see smaller props, smaller body, probably about the same size battery. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing and see what we've got. Oh, look at that. That's just so cute and tiny and adorable and little bitties. You see that? Look at that. See how small that is? Look at that. It's just tiny. So there's the D1. And then there's the Cherson CX-10, so you can see it's quite a bit smaller. And let's go ahead and compare this to a few other things. Uh, like here's a mid-size quad rotor. Well, actually, this is a rather small quad rotor. This is actually technically a mid-size quad rotor right here. Something that you would use to do some FPV with. You know, a little inexpensive one. And see something like the Hubson Q4. This is a high-performance nano quad rotor. Let's see how... It compares to that. That's pretty, pretty good size difference there. And then there's the other pocket copter that's on the market, the uh, pocket drone. This thing's a lot of fun. Let's see, this thing's about the same size as a CX-10, so quite a bit smaller there too. This thing is freaking tiny, tiny. I mean, let's let's compare it to, uh, say, oh, I don't know, a full-size quad rotor here. Well, that's that's a little bit of a little bit of a size difference there. Just 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 tiny little bit of a size difference there. So this thing is adorable. It's small. It's tiny. It's inexpensive. Fits inside its transmitter. Looks like the transmitter takes uh, two little AAA batteries, and we've got fully functional up down spin, forward backward left right. Uh, press down on this button to uh, change your speed from low to high speed. Press down on this button and then go forward or back or left or right to flip. These seem to be your trim buttons. And within the package here we should have a nice little charger too. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, there you go. Here's our user manual. Our USB charger. A few spare blades. Here, let's compare it to just one more thing here. There it is next to, say, like a little parakeet. That's, yeah. This is about the smallest bird I could find, and this thing's smaller than the bird, so. This is a tiniest little quad rotor. I'm really anxious to see how it flies. Let's check it out.
on a lot of the world's smallest aircraft and a lot of times whenever the aircraft gets smaller it's not as stable and not as easy to fly but that is not the case with D1. D1 right here is stable. D1 right here is tiny and D1 right here is fun to fly. The DHD RC D1 nano quad rotor Man, this thing is smooth in the air. Apparently when you bring the rotors this close together, you get a nice smooth column of air. And it's just, it's just a lot of fun to fly. It's actually smoother than the CX-10 is. It's smoother than any of these other nano quads we've flown. Uh, let's see if it's smooth enough to get through this little tiny desktop obstacle course, shall we? As you can see, D1 right here is a nice little quad rotor. I have never flown anything that could fly through hoops that are this small and this tight of an environment. You can truly fly this anywhere, inside and out, and this thing is smooth and easy to fly. It's pretty crash resistant, it's got a very nice solid body, and it's just, it, it looks good in the air, and it feels good in the air, and it is just so, so tiny. It's just fun to sit there and look at it and think about the technology that actually went into this thing. If you have a chance, definitely check out the DHD RC D1 Nano Quad Rotor. It's right up inside its transmitter. Awesome little aircraft. Uh, charges in about 20 minutes and it flies for about four and a half minutes depending on if you do flips or not. The more flips you do, obviously, the more power it takes. But all in all, I think this is a really good buy. It's a lot of fun to fly. It's easy to fly. You can take it anywhere. Throw it in your pocket. You're ready to go. It would be nice if the uh, charger could actually attach to the transmitter so that you could just pick the whole thing up and throw it in your pocket. But other than that, I would say definitely check it out. Thanks for watching RC 101 with the Dallas Fly. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.